Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Eli from Kingswood Performance and 4x4 in Leeds, West Yorkshire. This here today is the superb Porsche 911-992 Carrera S. It's, in my opinion, and I'm sure many motoring journalists would agree, the best supercar you can buy for money today. It's fantastic to drive, makes you look like a fantastic driver, very, very easy to get in and out of and use every day. Um, and unlike a lot of supercars, which can be a bit tedious to use on a day-to-day -day basis because they're hard to get in and out of, they're not the easiest things to drive. The 911 literally blasts all those um, conundrums for using it as a daily driver out the water. So it's really, really highly recommended if you want an everyday supercar. And you ask me, well, is it a supercar? Yes, it does 0 to 60 in, in, in approximately 3.7 seconds. Uh, top speed of 191 miles per hour for this particular S model. It's got 450 horsepower. It, it sounds fantastic. This one's got the sports exhaust. It is uh, a fantastic looking car as well. This one is in the best color of the moment, crayon gray. It's that pale uh, gray color and um, is absolutely the color to have. Everyone's after them. If you can find one in crayon, they sell in a matter of days or weeks because uh, there's not that many of them about and it's what everyone wants. Uh, and you can see why it's just a fantastic color, really suits the car as well. And because it's a light color, all those lovely curves and haunches uh, which hide those huge, uh, wide Goodyear Regal F1 tires at the back. They're 305 millimeters wide, so they're really, really fat. Um, it looks fantastic. This particular one is registered December 19th, 69 plate. So it's only five, six months old. Uh, it's just covered just over a thousand miles. I think it's a thousand and eighty uh, from memory. We'll see when we go inside. And um, it's a one private owner vehicle with around 15,000 pounds worth of factory options fitted onto it. So it represents fantastic value for money. I think new, it was approximately uh, 110,000 pounds with these options. Uh, and we're selling this today for only 100,000 and it's only five months old. Very rare to get a 911 with any sort of uh, discount off, uh, off list, if not, um, if not even paying a premium for them because there's obviously quite a big waiting list. Um, now, this particular model, obviously it's got two keys, it's got a full book pack, it's got Porsche assistance warranty, it's got the presentation box, got everything as you'd expect to receive as if you were buying it brand new. And it's really no different because you've got everything that you'd get from your main Porsche dealer um, you get with this vehicle as well. So enough of me talking about um, about the actual car. Let's talk a little bit about the factory options because that's what everyone wants to hear. You don't buy a 911 um, Billy Bob Basic. Everyone wants it loaded to the rafters. So we've got the LED headlights with the Porsche Dynamic Light System, um, which you know is a very desirable option to have. You've got the parking assistant system, which gives you the sensors front and back and the reversing camera. Uh, a not really great option, I think every car should be fitted with it these days, is adaptive cruise control. You can see the radar sensor there. It's also got lane assist as well. You can see those LED lights there lit up currently. Obviously the crayon grey is an option. And what's nice on this particular vehicle is it's got the crayon stitching uh, in the interior to match uh, the crayon outside looks really really well you've got the wheels which are staggered sizes so over here at the front I don't know if you can see that 245 35 20 yeah and then obviously you've got the red brake calipers with the Porsche logo on and at the back, you've got the 305 21 inch. So it's actually an inch bigger, the wheels at the back than they are at the front and considerably wider, 305 versus 245. 
there you go and obviously you've got the cross drilled uh, brake disc all round for the Goodyear Eagle <laughs> F1 tyres 305, 30, 21 at the back and then you've got the model designation delete so it doesn't say Carrera S on this it just says Porsche and uh, that option's in the gloss black it's got that lovely 3D effect on the lettering which is really nice it's got the sports exhaust system switchable with gloss black tailpipes you can see there it's got the white LEDs you can see the reverse camera um, and then obviously you've got this really outstanding real LED bar that lights up across the whole back of the car which looks fantastic especially at night and then the third brake light here which lights up really makes the car stand out and then these 3d effect lights as well for the tail lights uh, one thing i love about the new porsche is the door handles so they are flush fitting to the door and if we get the porsche key and press they pop open that was twice because obviously open the passenger side uh, really nice really nice touch there by porsche Got a lovely solid chunky feel uh, the quality in this car is superb so you've got the black leather pretty much everywhere on this car with the gray on, with the crayon stitching this textured anthracite aluminium finisher and then you've got your bose sound system option on this car your 911 Carrera S entry sills. You've got the four-way electric sports seats on this. And you've got the Porsche crest embroidered into the seats. The all essential panoramic roof or sunroof is fitted on this particular example. I've listed all the options there on the ad. You've got the floor mats there, glove box, even that opens really, really nicely. And obviously you've still got rear seats. If we pull that forward, that black leather with the crayon stitching, you've got these lovely seat backs. They've actually got little hooks on the back there. If somebody wanted to hang their shirts or coat or jacket. So you've got the crayon seat belts on this again, which is a, a really nice option because it finishes it off beautifully with the with the crayon uh, stitching and then here you've got your center armrest which has got your uh, USB sockets memory card sim cup holder handbrake heated seats as well blind sunroof controls there let's go around to the driver's side and I'll show you a bit more of the inside you've also got the privacy glass on this car so you've got nice dark windows towards the rear half of the vehicle. I love this car. Definitely would be my choice. And you know, I look at we'll open the front and the rear. I always used to hate it when journalists always used to say, you know, 911 the best car, don't get any other car, etc. etc. I was just sick of Porsche winning or anything. But when you drive one and own one. Uh, or in my case, I don't necessarily keep it for long, but um, you can you can get why where they're coming from. Um, I think this is the original, yeah. That's the original plastic there on on that. No one's actually taken it off, so I'll do that now. 3.0s, so it's a three liter. I'll close that. And then if we go around to the, what do they call them? The frunk. So it's the front end boot or front end trunk and lift that up. Beautiful gas struts, just push it right up straight away. And then you've obviously got your storage space here. Obviously behind these panels, I'm sure most Porsche owners will know you've got things like your toolkit, you've got your triangle there. And your bit of storage space enough to get a few weekend bags. Um, right, so let's talk about the, um, the center console because it really is a, a work of art. 
just before we do you can see we've got power folding mirrors there your mirror controls windows etc and then your, your Bose sound system of course has got the Bose speaker there you've got automatic lights you've got keyless start with this lovely knurled finish to the key and that sort of continues through from the trim and the dash and of course you've got the white stitching uh, sorry the crown stitching to the leather on the dash I'll just switch those lights off so they can stop beeping okay and then of course you've got the sport chrono pack which gives you the clock the launch control lap timer etc that you get normally of course your internal lights and then you can see there the buttons you've got the sports exhaust you've got your favorite button that you can program uh, indicators traction control and Porsche Active Suspension Management, so you can management, sorry, so you can firm up or soften the suspension. Climate control. And then here you've got your um, cruise control. And obviously you can set the distance as well. Um, so if you want to obviously adjust on your adaptive cruise control, you can do that there. And then the steering wheel's got a really nice sort of 3D effect where the button is not actually attached to this part, it's just attached to there, which is quite nice. So that lovely baseball black stitching. You've got your gear shift selectors there. And wipers. And then you've got this lovely 3D effect to the to the main dash there. So you've got two screens one on either side which you can configure and view many different bits of information on and then the central sort of rev counter speedo in the middle which is where it should be um, so we'll start it up you've obviously got the essential drive selection mode which is uh, very important okay let's start the car up so This car's got speed limit display, um, which is very handy, <laughs> especially in this car. You've got that lovely, fantastic widescreen for your nav and main controls. Sports exhaust, Porsche active suspension management. And then this is fantastic button because this controls your normal sport sport plus individual which you can configure and wet so yeah it's a great button because it literally does everything that you want for you and then you can like i said you can configure the um screen to display what you want use this button here for this one Navigation, so you want to display the navigation there, you can do. And um, Sport Chrono. Tire pressure monitor sensor, that monitoring sensors, yeah. I mean, it's all there. Fantastic. And you know, with the, you can go into your service intervals. Um, so you can see when your next service is due. Obviously, in 2021, 19,000 miles on this because it's brand new. Um, and same with your oil change so it's all there on the on the on the uh, on the menu uh, what else so yeah you can also press this button here and then that you can see I'll just show you the bit difference that lights up red lights that lights right now you can control this screen so you can flick through with this thumb wheel and then control what's displayed on this one so you adapt the cruise control display lane assist um, speed limiter which you can set of course uh, if you're a naughty boy and decide to go above the speed limit and you're on a private road of course uh, so yeah that can all be done with that and then this is configurable to be your favorite button and then of course this goes through um, the menu on here as well if you want to like change radio station or such like um, and then obviously you've got your climate control there and then this button can control the screen as well now on this screen here you've got your 
uh, you've got your navigation of course, you've got media and, and I believe if it's anything like some of the other Porsches you can display 3D maps, you may even be able to do Google Maps if you put a SIM in that central console, center console, because I remember on the Panamera that I sold recently, uh, which was a new shape, uh, that had uh, the Google Map display you could choose from there. Um, very, very responsive, the screen, very nice to use the media system on the new 911, it's a million miles away from all the previous ones. Phone, car, so obviously you've got your driving modes there, your chassis, your exhaust, spoiler, etc. That can all be configured. Your climate control. And then obviously you can go to the home screen, you know, have a brief overview of everything. Uh, so for example, you can configure that if you want to display different options. And then you can also you know, each one of these things has got other menus sort of there that you can you can play with. And that is pretty much it. Um, I'll do a little bit of uh, I'll do a little bit of revving for you as the engine's warm. You can just hear what the car sounds like um, with the sports exhaust on. So that's on there. Let's um, let's set up the camera outside. Beautiful car, really, really nice. In my new video and camera spot, it's nice and quiet. There's no one here to uh, interrupt or the sound of any other cars. It's in the middle of nowhere, which is great. Okay, so let's listen to what this sounds like. got that lovely sound to the exhaust system. I didn't rev it too high because actually Porsche very cleverly stop it from revving past sort of 3000 RPM on um, in stationary mode like that with the door open for safety or whatever reason they've configured. But um, that pretty much wraps up our video of our 911. All the info I'm going to post below and obviously if you like our videos and you want to see more cars um, I've got a Lamborghini coming in and a lovely California with a, a very rare combination uh, of leather and um, exterior color so if you want to see more videos of these cars and others that we get in then please subscribe to our channel and they'll pop up as soon as they come in and then you can uh, pick and choose what you want to see so please subscribe like our videos and we will see you on the next on the next show thank you for watching good night